Hey, Jake Guitar here. Today's video, what I did is I actually grabbed my uh, DSLR camera, set it up on a tripod at the local park here. Actually, Vista View Park here in South Florida, in Davie, Florida. It's actually an old uh, garbage dump. It's about 70 feet tall that they turned into a, uh, a nice park. And uh, there are a few of these little... Um, spots around the park where the um, the wildlife preserve officers kind of set up a little um, habitat for these uh, owls and so um, I pass it every day taking my daughter to school and I figured this is going to be a good time and a good place to get some nice video in case anybody's interested I actually used my uh, Canon Rebel EOS T3 DSLR camera and put a small zoom lens on 18 to 30 for 18 to 55 actually and I put it on autofocus and set the uh, image stabilizer because there was a little bit of uh, wind you could probably hear it and um, the, the camera was uh, shaking around just a little bit and I just wanted to make sure that the uh, the camera was stabilized but uh, it was a pretty bright sunny day and um, I think the video came out pretty good. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about this little owl here. This is an owl that basically lives in the ground. And you know when you're a kid growing up, you look at pictures of an owl and they're always hanging out on a branch on a tree and they're always you know making that hoo-hoo sound. But um, this is a this is a different type of creature. It basically burrows a hole into the ground, and that's where it lives. The uh, burrowing owl can also kind of hijack or use an old um, hole that maybe uh, another animal in the past may have uh, created, and they just kind of take it over. But Either way, this is a this is a cool little animal that kind of kind of lives underground, and it's it's an owl. So if you take a look, they have those nice big bright yellow eyes, and kind of the spotted uh, belly, and uh, and wings. You're not going to be able to tell too much of a difference between the male and the female. They both are approximately the same size. The main difference, I think, is that the male will uh, take off and fly a little more and hover around, whereas the female will uh, kind of just hang out and protect the the um, the burrow. Uh, I'm guessing this is a female. If anybody knows uh, anything different or can identify this as a male, please let me know. So the burrowing owl, they do spend most of their time on the ground or in uh, on low perches such as a fence post or um, this little habitat here actually has four uh, little posts that are sticking out of the ground with with uh, a rope connecting all four I didn't show that but sometimes the the owls will actually hang out on those little on those little posts but for the most part they're pretty much um, down low and they kinda like these big open sparse habitats um, like almost like a prairie or a pasture area this particular spot was along a road and there's not a whole lot of trees or anything nearby it was kind of an open field where they just uh, kind of took took uh, their habitat in the ground there so these little owls what they do in that in that burrow is they can store their food there and it has been known that some of these uh, these burrows actually contain up to 200 rodents, little mice and, and things like that. That's what they like to eat. But they'll also eat other things like uh, insects, um, little lizards, um, other birds and small mammals, things like that. And um, they'll either eat, they'll, they'll even eat crickets and moths and beetles, whatever they can get their hands on. I've even heard that these things can prey on uh, dragonflies, water bugs, caterpillars, you know, f frogs, toads, 
or uh, other small little animals, including little fish and uh, even other burrowing owls have been known to be prey. You definitely wouldn't want to be in their, uh, in their sight if they're hungry. That I could tell you. How does the hunting differ between the males and the females? Well, the females have been known to catch more insects, whereas the males, and, and they hunt during the day, whereas the males, um, they'll go after the vertebrates, uh, mostly at night. So there's a little bit of a difference in their hunting patterns, but uh, you know, it almost seems like uh, they, they, uh, they work as a team, you know, and oftentimes you'll see them in pairs, the male and the female, and they've been known to be pretty monogamous too. What about their nesting? Well, how many eggs do these things lay? Well, it turns out between 2 and 12 eggs is a normal um, amount, but it turns out that only one of those eggs will actually hatch and turn into a, a baby owl. Well, how big are these little eggs? Well, the, the length of an average burrowing owl egg is about 1.2 to 1.3 inches. It's not exactly a small egg, and about one little over one inch in uh, width or diameter. The, uh, the incubation period on these things is about 28 to 30 days, and it's a white, smooth colored egg. And when the egg hatches, the little chick is actually a grayish white, and its eyes are closed. Incidentally, there was a sign in, um, on the actual um, post that read something like, do not touch the eggs. I guess it's some kind of a state and federal law that these uh, owls are actually protected, that you can't mess with the eggs. Let's talk a little bit about the um, behavior of these things, a little more, okay? So, one of the things that all birds have in common is they have these uh, talons or these sharp claws on their feet which they can use to grab almost anything that they want. Okay, so as I said, this is an animal that's protected. However, it's not one of those animals that's on the endangered species list. And it's kind of surprising because I hardly ever see these things. You have to kind of know where to look. It turns out that there are certain places that have uh, more burrowing owls than other places. It turns out that they are pretty common in North and South America. It's funny, in North America, the only area on the east side of North America is Florida that seems to have a pretty good amount of these birds. In North America, they're not on the endangered species list, as I said, but in um, Canada they are, and also in uh, Mexico they are especially protected. So why are the uh, burrowing owls, why are the populations diminishing? Well, most likely because of the um, agricultural um, expansion that a lot, of a lot of areas go through, um, which has... Um, chased away a lot of small animals like prairie dogs and other burrowing animals in which the uh, the burrowing owl would generally make a home. Now they can of course dig their own holes but they also would you know inhabit a lot of these holes that other animals have uh, once once dug and they would they would inhabit them by by large populations. So once the other animals have uh, been displaced, of course, now the um, burrowing owl has no place to kind of go. What other things can harm uh, a burrowing owl? Well, other things like hunters, um, collisions with vehicles, um, dogs, any, any kind of a predatory animal, of course, can, can, hunt, a, can hunt an owl. Um, pesticides and other kind of uh, environmental um, hazards like that could could definitely uh, decrease the population. So anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this video on these little owls here. They're really, really nice animals. And, you know, certain things in nature we should just be able to enjoy and be able to appreciate. And I think that uh, the owl, the burrowing owl, is just one of those, you know, very, very beautiful uh, creatures that that we can we can find and we can go out and observe when we want to. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to let you watch uh, some more of this, and I'm going to stay quiet for a while. I'm going to let the sound come back in the background, and I'm going to get a little closer up here, as you can see, and let you enjoy the rest of this. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. And um, please subscribe. Subscribers help my channel. And have a great day, everyone.